year. Are you recording? <laughs> yeah, I started. Oh, I didn't hear it. Oh my god, I was just getting too busy singing. Just getting ready. Ready for 2024. Too busy singing. Just getting ready. Ready for 2024. Mm -hmm. Doing all the things. Welcome back to My Busy Kitchen. Uh, my name is Biz. I'm 55 on a weight loss journey in case this is your first time seeing me. Um, I've basically been on the internet since 2008, uh, but nobody can find any of my shit. So. <laughs> We're working on that. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm, it's not my first rodeo on Weight Watchers. And if you don't know who I am, I started Weight Watchers back in 1999 to 2000. In 15 months, I lost 70 pounds. And I was able to keep that off for several years till my late husband got sick in 2007. He passed away in 2014. And slowly, some of those pounds came back on. So in de January, I guess it was December 26, 2021, mm -hmm. is when I finally got on the scale, like the day after Christmas. I'm like, I'm not waiting till January 1st. I'm going to start today, like I did every year. And I was 191. So I'm down. 40 pounds, I'm 151. It's taking me two years to get there, and the reason I've had success this go around is because I stopped cheating the system. I kept on trying to figure out how to finagle my Weight Watcher points so I could still eat and drink what I wanted, but somehow lose weight every week, and obviously that never happened because I would do great either Monday through Friday, then rip the band aid off Friday night and just think it's my birthday every weekend. Mm -hmm. And from Friday to night till Sunday, I would just eat and drink whatever I wanted. And fun fact, my Weight Watchers, when I was going in person, uh, meeting was Saturday morning, and I don't know, maybe twice a month, at, right after that Weight Watcher meeting, did never, if it matter if I had a gain or loss, I would go to the, the donut store. Is it Country Donuts right there? Yes, it is. In Crystal Lake, if you've not been there, it's a 24 hour, I believe it's 24 hour donut shop, doesn't matter. They have the best apple fritters. And I would just reward myself for like getting through another week on Weight Watchers. And so January 1st, 2022, I had to ditch all the dieting rules rules and say, just take it a day at a time. It's like, don't rush it because I just, every time that I didn't see results fast enough, I would t tell myself it wasn't working. And then I try to count macros or count calories. And if I tell you how many hours and hours I used to spend uh, like on a Saturday or Sunday, like planning out like every breakfast, lunch, dinner for the following week, uh, it was endless. And then by Tuesday, I was like, I don't, I don't want any of this stuff anymore. Mm -hmm. I was like sick of it. So my meal prep uh, per se has changed immensely over the years. I just prep things and then figure out what I'm, what I'm gonna do with them. Like for example, I always bake potatoes in the beginning of the week. I always cook a couple cups of rice and uh, a couple cups of pasta and just keep them in the fridge. And then that way they're already fully cooked. I can figure out what I wanna do with that on the fly. I like to pretend I'm untrapped sometimes mm -hmm. and see what's in my refrigerator. I was like, okay, I've got these four ingredients. What can I make? And usually that turns out pretty good. Sometimes it tastes like shit, but you know what? That's getting creative in your kitchen. And I think the more you do cook in your kitchen, the better cook you become because I wasn't very much a very good cook back then, Hannah. Yes, we... I mean, she was a good cook, but we also ate the same things. We had tacos, pasta, yeah. mac and cheese, pizza. Um, and back then, she was also a much picky, pickier eater. Yes. So I've come a long way. Yes. I've come a long, She's long way. She's definitely a, a different girl. A different girl. So I've just evolved Yes. Uh, over the years. But we're going to answer some of the questions that people have about Weight Watchers in case you're interested in trying out the program, I, I will say, um, well, Hannah's going to ask the questions in no particular order. Mm -hmm. So we'll just, we'll just go from there. Yeah. We figured start of 2024, you might be looking to start a new health journey. And if you're looking to join Weight Watchers, here's some stuff that might help you. And I also have a link down below if you feel like uh, joining yes. uh, anytime it's anonymous. I don't know if you join or not. Uh, full disclosure, I do get a free month if you join. And I they do on certain months do promotions where you get a free month and so does the person yes. who signs up. Yeah, and sometimes that person who signs up gets three months. It depends. Yeah. So We don't really know. It's just I every, know. any Weight Watcher existing user 
has a link that they can share. Yeah, it's just, just I'm not special. Yeah, we're not sponsored. Yeah, not sponsored. I have no affi affiliation with Weight Watchers whatsoever. Aside from um, how long have you been on the program? Uh, since 1999, basically. Okay, I perfect. don't know. If, yeah. Um, but yeah, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> so I would, I guess I, the first thing to probably start off with would be, um, like who is Weight Watchers for? It's basically for anybody and I'm a type one diabetic. It works for me. Uh, they do have a diabetic program so that, uh, I have to count points for fruit. Uh, that does not dissuade me from eating fruit because I didn't get to Weight Watchers from eating too many mandarin oranges. So typically in any day I can have three to five points of fruit. Uh, most people get 23 points. It depends on your age, your uh, gender, your activity level of how many points you're given. Me as a type 1 diabetic and everything, my age, all that I just mentioned, I get 28 points a day. So if you take out my fruit that I eat that day, which is zero points for everybody else, it's basically 23 points. That's what I'm working with. Okay. How do the points work? Like, what do, what do, what do you mean by saying points? Yeah, so basically the points are... Um, they take in consideration saturated fat, sugar, protein, those are the top three, and uh, the points vary depending on those things. So a uh, food that's lower in saturated fat is gonna be at lower points, a food that's lower in sugar is also gonna be lower in points, and also a food that is high in protein is also gonna be lower points. So it's basically steering you towards a more health-hearty diet and I don't like to use the word diet because I want it to be a lifestyle for you and you have to figure out what works for you. I don't eat a lot of vegetables. Mm -hmm. I try eating, Hannah. Yes, she's I try. Trying. Like every once in a while I have a huge salad. I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then like another week or two goes by and I was like, oh my God, this salad's amazing. Yeah. It's just not part of my routine. So me forcing myself to do that was backfiring on me. So I had to figure out just to leave it to the side when vegetables come in. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm more than welcome to bring them into the family. Um, I say, oh, package. We just it's the pack. FBI. It's the FBI. <laughs> yeah, you did get a package. Oh, that might be that might be our Thrive. Ooh. I just ordered from Thrive Market, and I'm so excited. I'm doing dry January, so I ordered non-alcoholic sangria. So Ooh. party this weekend. Um, I'm just going to add vodka to it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it says non-alcoholic on the outside. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's for everyone. The points vary based on a bunch of different stuff. So what? let's just say, so you have 28 points. Mm -hmm. What happens if you eat more or less of those points? So if you eat less of them, you can uh, carry over a maximum of four points. So let's just say I have 28 points, I only eat 24. I can bank those four points for my week, but that resets day weigh in. So my new day is Monday. So if I don't eat those banked points, it could be four points a day. And then that could be your dinner out with your spouse, significant other. That could be the brunch with your family. That could be dinner at Hannah's. And I don't mm -hmm. have to worry about anything that she's making. And then it's like no guilt. It's like you've already saved up the points for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then if you go over, then your weeklies diminish. But you earn points by uh, activity. So you can use those activity points. I typically don't just because I'm, I don't think I'm doing that, anything that strenuous. It's swimming, walking, and YouTube videos. Uh, and if I swim for an hour, it's giving me seven activity points. So if I swam three times a week, that's 21 extra points that I don't, I'm not hungry, so I don't feel like I need it. Mm -hmm. um, but if you are a, a avid athlete and you're like, you know, doing a lot and you are seeing the scale like stay the same, then maybe add those activity points in. But the activity points automatically go to your weeklies. So as long uh, as you don't, how do I put this? They changed the block and I'll do a screenshot shot so Hannah mm -hmm. can show what it looks like. It, it, you get a like a quote unquote blue dot if you stay within your points. But that being said, let's just say I get um, 28 points a day and then I get my 21 weeklies and I earn 20 activity points. As long as I don't deplete those things in total, I've, I've had a perfect week. Okay. So it doesn't have to be like, you know, I think a lot of people think, oh, I only get 23 points, so I have to be exactly 23. I actually think it's better if one day you have 29, the next day you have 21, and kind of keep it your body guessing, uh, as long as you stay within those total points that you're given in a week, and it resets the day of, of your, the beginning of your week. Okay, perfect. That makes sense. Let's do, um, 
how or why do you think that Weight Watcher works? I mean, that kind of ties into the whole points and balancing out and steering towards healthier foods, but why do you personally feel like Weight Watchers works better than other programs? The only reason, and it's because there's no deprivation. There's nothing that is excluded. It doesn't mean you, you can't have carbs, you can't have sugar, you can't have protein, whatever it is. Like if you do keto, that's great. If, the, if you can do that long term, I don't ever see myself doing that. I don't mind low carb, but I like potatoes. I like pasta. And when I do a diet that is telling me I can't eat something, I crave it more and then I just and then it, it just becomes a cycle in my head I was like and then I start you know obsessing over potatoes and you know I don't want I don't want to have that narrative in my head so the fact that we can um, eat anything within reason um, it makes it all the difference for me and mm -hmm. I and how I did it changed it in 2022 till today is I make Monday through Sunday exactly the same if I've got nothing special going on why do I why do I have to pretend like the weekend's my birthday? I don't. I just, and if you do that, um, and then just have maybe two meals out of the week that are out of your control, slap 25 points on it. And then take take that from your total and then work the rest of the points in the rest of your day or week. Um, and there's no, it's, for me, there's no guilt in that. And I'm able, able to enjoy the event that I'm at and not think about, oh my God, I just wasted 25 points on this meal. No, I enjoy 25 points in the meal. I also enjoy the people I'm with and the event. And mm -hmm. it's just, it's one thing and then you just can move on. Perfect. Do you will get, even on the, so I guess you're on the diabetic plan versus the regular non-diabetic plan. Mm -hmm. You still get free points. Yes. Or there's free food. There's correct? zero point foods, yeah. And it, it's different for everybody. So uh, for me, um, uh, my zero plant foods. Let me just look it up really quick. Yeah. Or we can put it in the thing too. But um, my zero plant foods. And also while you look at that, I just yeah. kept it. Yeah, so my zero point foods are non starchy vegetables, eggs, fish and shellfish, chicken and turkey breast, beans, peas, and lentils, and tofu and tempeh. So those are the things that are on my zero point, and that's a lot. Um, so beans are, I love beans, and I just made a breakfast burrito the other day that was only five Weight Watcher points. I've already gotten people asking me, like, give me your, your lowest point breakfast, your lowest point lunch, lowest point dinner. I'm not about that life anymore. I want to spend the points, be full, and not look for um, how to, you know, snack in between. I'm also diabetic, so I have to take a shot every time I eat. So by eating bigger meals, that's two less shots if I eliminate those two snacks. Uh, that being said, if you're a snacky girl, you can do it. Uh, there's a million different snacks that you can have for low points that, and you can check out on the, on the app, but um, those are my zero point foods. But I, that being said, I do not build my meals around my zero point foods. So I think a lot of people are confused and think that they have to like, oh my God, I have to make a meal that's got chicken, uh, peas, or beans, eggs, and non-starchy vegetables. Like that's so you're like, oh, I have to eat stir fry every day, or or I have to eat like boiled chicken yeah, or hard boiled eggs, and or whatever. just plain Greek yogurt or something like that. Actually, yogurt isn't even my, um, but it's the regular plan. I think yogurt is zero points. Uh, and that being said, my chicken tikka masala is delicious. Mm -hmm. We'll leave a link down below, and that is marinated in Greek yogurt. It's it's got uh, chicken breast in it, full of flavor. Uh, and I think it's, that's one thing that people don't see when they see zero point foods is they don't think the they don't see the ability to enhance a zero point food and spend points on then a sauce yes. or, or a your pita bread or whatever yes because you have a zero point focus absolutely and so recently i just made pita bread and it wasn't uh quote unquote a weight watcher recipe uh, meaning it wasn't on my skinny pizza dough. Uh, it was delicious. It made six fluffy pitas. They were six points each. Uh, and at the feedback I got, I was like, oh my God, I would never spend six points. And then they're telling me, get the Joseph's flatbread. This, I get that there's other uh, lower point options for me, but this tasted real deal. Like I was at a Greek diner, fluffy, and I just filled it with gr uh, grilled chicken, uh, tzatziki that I made out mm -hmm. of Greek yogurt that was zero points, and uh, sauteed vegetables. And it was that it was still six points. So when you think about that as a whole, um, that's not about deprivation. That's like right. a, a, like upping people the game. People see the six point pita and they say no. But if I had 
a six point pita with free chicken yes. and a low point sauce, now I'm making it still balanced. Yes, exactly. It's all evening out. Right, and if you can think like that outside the box of how you can enhance the zero point foods and add other things to it, then that's a perfect example of like adding an ounce of cheese that's five points, like mm -hmm. on a grilled chicken sandwich or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I just uh, hope people don't eat plain chicken and Greek yogurt. Yeah, no, or say that they're always starving. Yeah. Because you you should not be hungry. Yeah, don't be, you should not be hungry on this program at all. Yeah. Um, can you track macros on Weight Watchers? Technically, yes and no. If you put anything in the uh, Weight Watcher app, we'll put a little um, a video or like a screenshot right here. Uh, let's just say it's a hamburger bun, whatever it is. Below where it says the points, there's a drop down menu that says nutrition. If you just open that up, that'll have the macros for it. Uh, the calories, the fat, all, all that stuff. So if you're trying to track protein, anything like that, you can manually do it, but you would have to write it down. There's not a, a tally for that. But on the Weight Watchers now has a semi-glutide program. So if you qualify for that, and that's for somebody who's not diabetic, taking semaglutide for weight loss in conjunction with the Weight Watcher program, uh, your program is gonna be uh, focused on protein. And so you will have a, like a little wheel of, it'll add up all the protein you're having. And I, I just wanted to see what it looked like. So I had to say that I was not diabetic and to, to, to look at that program and um, 70 grams of protein was the minimum because a lot of people that are on the semaglutide program uh, the first symptom they have is uh, no desire to eat. So, but you still mm -hmm. need to eat. And so if you are getting a minimum of 70 grams of protein, I guess they feel that, that you're eating enough calories to fuel your body and everything like that. Uh, and I am on Ozempic. I've been on Ozempic since October of 2022. Uh, before I uh, lost, uh, before I was on Ozempic, I had already lost 30 pounds in, in that year. And then my doctor put me on Ozempic and I quickly gained eight pounds in six months. Cause I think I just, I just thought that the, the, the weight was going to melt off me. Like after that, I was like, mm -hmm. Oh, I'm on, I'm on Ozempic. So skinny bitch, here I come. And yeah. not realizing I'm only on one unit a week and that's only helping me take less insulin. So I used to take one unit of insulin for every four grams of carbs I ate. Now it's one to 10. So is my weight loss helping because I'm taking less insulin? Probably, but I do not think that it's because I'm on Ozempic. Uh, so I- Yeah, it's not making her less hungry. Yep. And it's not, it's not a, what they consider like a medical dosage high enough for continued weight loss. Right, so it's just for my insulin management as a type one diabetic. Mm -hmm. uh, so this calendar year, since I, after gaining the eight pounds um, in 2023, I lost uh, 18 pounds. Amazing. Thank you. Um, let's see, meetings. Yes, so, so are there Weight Watcher meetings? Are they worth it? Are they still in person? Yeah, absolutely. I You need to find a good leader and that's, uh, first and foremost. So before the pandemic, we had a leader named Mickey. She was fabulous. It was standing room only. Uh, it was in the town next to us. 100, 120 people would show up to that Saturday meeting and it was fun. It was lively. Um, and then the pandemic hit. Well, she had retired like maybe two months before that. And then I just jumped on virtual meetings. So at basically every studio, Crystal Lake, Illinois, we're at Schaumburg, Illinois. Everyone had their own virtual meetings so that you were still with your same people. But because I could jump on anywhere in, in the country. So that first six months uh, when we started doing virtuals, I was going to meetings in California, New Jersey, Texas, just to see who was out there. And I stumbled upon uh, Deb, uh, who continues to be my coach for now over two and a half years. She uh, is um, a national leader now. So they eliminated in the fall um, all the local meetings. So now there's just national meetings and uh, some of the studios closed. I know a lot of people who especially live in a remote area, you, the closest one that you couldn't do in person is 45 minute drive. I know that not everyone's going to want to do that. So, but in-person meetings are perfect because you can participate, you can hear, you don't have to be on camera you can learn something, but there's that camaraderie and community mm -hmm. that just 
makes all the difference. So I do, do think that that's a core part of the program. And if you're willing to take the journey to lose the weight, I think that the meetings will help you a thousand percent. Where can you find Weight Watcher recipes? Well, on the app, uh, and we will do a drop down. But basically, um, on the thing right here up at the top, there's just something recipes, and you can even put like um, what you might have in your pantry or refrigerator. You could say like rice, chicken, tomatoes, and they'll pull up recipes for that. Um, not the hugest fan of Weight Watcher recipes. Uh, if I'm gonna say like I've, Weight Watcher branded recipes. Yeah, the ones yeah. that are in the app, I think they're okay. Um, a lot of them are boring. A lot of I, I think they need a lot more flavor. Uh, so of course I have my website, mybusykitchen.com, uh, that I've had since 2008. Th thousands of recipes on that. Uh, but there's also a lot of my friends who have Weight Watcher recipes. Um, and I will leave those linked below uh, to all my friends, uh, sweet and savory stuff. Uh, Skinnyish Dish, Skinny Taste, Gina from Skinny Taste, uh, Jerry from Light Cravings, uh, all have amazing recipes that have, you know, five star reviews. Uh, and just maybe try one recipe a week. And, and you don't have to make everything from scratch. Uh, rely on your grocery store for um, maybe cut vegetables, cut, cut fruit, because if you just buy that stuff and bring it home and don't do anything with it, and then you come Friday before you go to grocery shopping again, you're like throwing out the bag of spinach or whatever that you thought you were going to eat right. and didn't. So if you just come home and take, spend not even 15 minutes organizing the stuff that you have so you can say, look in your, open your refrigerator and be like, okay, I've got s sliced peppers here. I've got chicken here. I'm going to make fajitas, mm -hmm. you know, and just, and make it as simple as that. I, when I first started blogging, I was making everything from scratch. Mustard. <laughs> Ketchup. Literally everything. Yeah, and I was like, realized that over the years, nobody wants to spend that much time in the kitchen. And uh, truth be told, my my time in the kitchen is drastically reduced since I've been home, just because I'm making quick, simple meals that I know other people will want to make. Yes. And not spend hours in the kitchen. I mean, I like spending hours in the kitchen, but but not everyone does. Yeah. So I've got to make it easy. Um, easy ingredients, stuff that's familiar to you. I'm not going to have you like foraging for ramps mm -hmm. like in at you know, the end of the summer so you or can using make fancy my... stuff like special truffle oils and yeah. things like that not about that life so uh there's lots of possibilities out there so my here's my key is just don't try to change everything all at once because th that's impossible and it's overwhelming and mm -hmm. you'll want to quit so if you are, have been sedentary sedentary for the last six months and all of a sudden the, the it's now 2024 and you're like i'm gonna walk 10,000 steps a day don't do that make your steps 2500 mm -hmm. for a week two weeks a month even and then add 500 steps to that and then build on that and then just uh bring those healthy habits in i um drink my water uh if this is 20 ounces. I try to drink two to three of these. I'm not drinking a gallon of water today. No. A day. And not about that life. No, it's all right. And basically, um, here's how I do my water intake, and it's kind of whatever. But um, I just look at the color of my pee. So if it's darker yellow, then I'm just like, oh, shit, I need to drink some more water. If it's pretty much clear, then I know I'm getting enough enough mm -hmm. liquids. I mean, that's as basic as you have to be. Yeah, um, really. And I try to do... Um, I'm probably like 80 grams of protein a day, but I'm not really tracking that wholeheartedly. Uh, but maybe that's one of my goals for 2024 is just to, yeah. just to eyeball it and see. But whatever I'm doing is working because it's livable, it's doable, it's life sustaining. Mm -hmm. And I can see myself eating like this for the rest of my life. Instead of like waiting to get to my goal weight and being like, okay, now what? Well, that's the thing too, is I think people often times who've always struggled with weight think that once I get to my goal weight, then I can finally live my life like I used to. Yep. And that's the problem is like that lifestyle led you to where you were Absolutely. starting Weight Watchers. So you have to be aware of the fact that when you do get to your quote unquote goal, whatever that is, mm -hmm. you have to, it, whatever you're doing to get to your goal is what you're doing to maintain that goal. Absolutely. Yeah, and my coach Deb, I think she lost like 180 pounds, something like that. That's it's a insane. lot. It's over 150. And that's the thing is like once, and she's maintained that for 10 years because she's eating the way she did 
to lose the weight. Mm -hmm. And that's the key is that there's no, there's no really no finish line. We're on the journey and your weight's going to go up, down, up, down, and don't fret about the, the, the little ups and downs, you know, from week to week, because you have to look at the big picture. Yeah. So if you were to look, you know, I lost 18 pounds in 2023, my graph would be like, up, oh, down, up, uh, down, 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 Right. Nah, nah, nah. But yeah. if you only look at the plus 0.2, plus 0.8, then yeah. it's kind of like you get down on yourself because you think, well, I'm only gaining, now what? I'll just give up. Yeah, and that's the thing, you can't give up. Mm -hmm. I don't give up. I don't know if there's a song that hits that, but. I don't know. I don't know. The sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> Bet your bottom dollars that tomorrow <laughs> there'll be You're welcome. Oh my God. You're welcome. Um, I'm just the gift that keeps on giving. Yes. Basically. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. I was also just thinking about Nikki Gets Fit. Oh, yeah. Um, Nikki Gets Fit. She's yes. a huge one. You have to follow her YouTube and Insta and everything. Yeah, we'll put all her information down below. Um, but she did a really, I can't remember off the top of my head right now, but in terms of like having successful like check ins um, or, you know, celebrating the wins. Oh, yeah. Her her mantra was, I don't think it was weight related. It was like, it was more so if I tracked X amount of days. Yes. Regardless of whether she gained or lost. Right. Then she was rewarding herself with whatever, a new purse or a freaking new pair of roller skates or. Yes. You know, whatever. Right. And, um, and she and her husband routinely um, once a month go out for their sushi and eat like plates the, the, and plates of sushi. But. That's it. They eat that and they move on and get back to where they are. And right. she still has an apple fritter once a month. Yes. Like there's certain things that she and her husband have to have and have never not had those things that they just make, work it into their program. And she makes cookies for a living. Yeah. <laughs> and she's lost and 90 pounds. Amazing. Yeah. But no, so. she's another good inspo to, yeah. to check out. If you we need. will leave all her information down below as mm -hmm. well. And we've met her in real life. She lives in the town next Oh yeah. To us. She's very sweet. And very tall. Yes. Very tall. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, I think, that's, I think a good... that's pretty much it. Is there anything changing in 2024? As far as I know, the, tw the plan is not going to change now that they've got the semaglutide going. Uh, two of my friends, Nick and Jake, have been on semaglutide for the last, I think since, uh, I want to say February, March of since last year. They were in the pilot program. They've each lost 100 pounds on it. Uh, they're actually in L.A. Four-way, four with, with, with Weight Watchers, watchers right now. Yeah, uh-huh. So... Because that was coming out, um, I don't foresee that any changes in 2024. The last big change was in 2022 when they got rid of the, the blue, the uh, purple, and the green plan and made just the regular plan and the diabetic plan. Uh, but we, we know that um, Weight Watchers can do whatever they want, you know? So yeah. we, I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't work for them. I have no direct tie with them. Uh, but I just know that it's a program that works for me. And I think it can work for you, too. That's amazing. All right. So if you have any questions, happy new year. Yeah, happy new year. Let us know in the comments, uh, questions, comments, concerns. We are always here to help you along your journey. Yes. All right. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> and follow us on all platforms. And follow us on all platforms, then I'll sing some more. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, bye.